Which you guys, today we're taking a look at how to convert an MBR disk to GPT in seconds without any software. So we've got a system here that is running an MBR setup and we want to convert this to GPT. So let's show you how to do it in this video. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. But first off, let me open up disk management here and you'll see that on disk zero, if I right click on this, you'll see convert to GPT disk is not available. If we click on properties here and go to volumes, you'll be able to see that this has been set to master boot record MBR. We've also got the disk which is set to zero. This is also important because the command we're going to be using will require us to put in the actual disk number. And this is disk zero, which is pretty normal. So master boot record, disk zero, we've now got that information. Let's go over some of the things that you might want to take care of before you do any of this. It's highly recommended to always back up your data before converting from MBR disk to GPT. Because if things go wrong, you have a chance of losing all of your data. So even though it's probably going to be okay, it's always best to err on the side of caution and back up all your data uh, before you carry out any sort of convert from MBR to GPT. But if you want to run the gauntlet and you don't want to back up your data and you just want to convert it like I'm doing in this video, it's entirely up to you whether you do that. I'm going to be doing that. I'm not going to back up any data. I'm going to go ahead and show you that it does actually work and you don't lose any data. But the risk is up to you whether you want to take that risk. Next, another thing you want to do is check to make sure the drive is decrypted. If you encrypt your drive using BitLocker, it's always advisable to decrypt the drive before converting to uh, GPT. And the reason for that is because things can go wrong. And this is just another thing that you've got to take care of. So it's normally recommended that you decrypt the drive before any sort of conversion from MBR to GPT, especially if it's encrypted with BitLocker. Now, that being said, it is possible to do it with this, but I would always advise to decrypt first. That way you can be 100% sure that you'll be able to carry out this conversion from MBR to GPT without the risk of losing data. And that's what we're all about. So first, let's go to command prompt by typing CMD in the search and run this as administrator. Then click yes to the user account control. This command prompt box will open up right here. We're going to be putting in a couple of commands here. So let me go ahead and show you the first command that we're going to be doing right here, which is MBR to GPT space forward slash and you want to go validate and then we want to go space forward slash disk zero because our disk is zero if yours is different then you can change it right here then go space forward slash allow full os just like i've got it on the screen right here and once you've got that done press enter and this will validate it to make sure everything is okay and it says uh, everything looks okay it completed successfully. So now we can run the command, which is going to convert it from MBR to GPT. So it's pretty much the same command apart from reusing validate. It will use convert. So let's go ahead and do that right here. It's MBR to GPT, just like you see on the screen right here. Then space forward slash. And now we're going to put convert here like so and then space forward slash disk zero because that's what our drive is. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Space forward slash allow full OS. Exactly the same. Now you can use your up arrow keys and change, go back and change that uh, validate to convert if you want to do that. I'm just doing it just to show you. This will then check and go through the process. It's going to attempt to convert disk zero. It will retrieve the layout disk validate the layout and also go through the whole converting process as you can see right there on the screen. A thing to take note of is what I've highlighted in the bottom in yellow is before the a new system can be booted properly you need to switch the firmware to boot to UEFI mode. If you are still on a legacy BIOS you will need to go into the BIOS and change it from legacy to UEFI to make it boot properly. If you leave it set to legacy, uh, which is your MBR BIOS, it's not going to boot and you're going to get uh, no boot on that system. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly shut the system down. We'll boot into the BIOS and we'll quickly change that from legacy to UEFI. So let me go ahead and quickly zoom out here and we're going to go ahead and shut down the system. You can even reboot into the actual BIOS if you want to and change it there. Now your BIOS might look different. It might look more modern, but whatever it says, it should look something like this in the boot tab and make sure you set it from legacy to UEFI. Once you do that, click save, F10 save, and then it will start to boot up and you should boot straight into Windows like you see right here. All you need to do then is I'll quickly show you that the conversion has been done successfully. All our data is still intact here. I can quickly open this file up just to show you the file is not corrupted in any way, shape or form. Again, making sure that you've got backup of your data is essential, especially if it's a really sensitive sort of information or data that you want to keep. It's always best to back that up. Next, we're going to go to disk management by right clicking on the start button, go to disk management here. And again, I'm going to go to our disk zero here. And we're just going to quickly check to see whether the conversion has gone through successfully. So right click, go to properties, and you can see now it says convert to MBR disk, which means it has been successfully converted to GPT. Next, we can go up to volumes and you can see already that it says uh, partition GPT and we're on disk zero, just like so. And everything has gone through exactly how we wanted it to. And we haven't had to install any software and we haven't had to reinstall Windows. And of course, I took the risk and I didn't have to back up any data. It's done everything exactly how I wanted it to do. And that's pretty much it. So if you're looking to uh, convert your uh, drive from MBR to GPT, that's basically how you can do it. It's built in Windows. You don't need any sort of dedicated software, even though there's loads of dedicated software out there that you can use. Some of it is not free and you have to pay for it. This is the free way of doing things. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. Anyway, but that said, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three, I really do appreciate the support and your names are rolling up on the screen right now. If you haven't joined our Discord server and you fancy a chat, then join over there. It's free to join. The link is in the video description and I shall see you over there for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.